Okay, g'day again. Um, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a navigation bar into Adobe Muse so that you can um, get around to the different pages of your website. And we're going to add it to our master page so that it appears exactly the same on each of our other pages that we've created. So in order to do that, if we go over to our panels over here and find widget library, you'll notice there's a, a folder called menus, there's horizontal and vertical. Let's use to drag out a horizontal menu onto our um, canvas or our web page um, and you'll notice that you could click this blue icon here and it has some options for our menu. Now um, before we go into it Muse will automatically add buttons for all the pages that you've created as part of your plan view. Okay, so if I was to add another page, Muse would automatically add another button to the horizontal menu. Okay, so first of all, let's go into here. We don't need to change any of these things, but um, menu type is all the top level pages. It's horizontal. Edit together ticked, which is what we want. It just means that any changes we make to one button, it will affect all of them to keep everything consistent. Um, we don't need to touch uniform size. We don't really need to do anything there. You can play around with that um, in your own time and see what everything does, but um, we'll just keep it simple. Now, first of all, let's position it. We'll put it inside of our header, and I'm going to snap it to our header um, header um, uh, slider there. Um, now, with the menu bar selected, let's change the color of the text. We'll go into here, I want it to be black, and I also might change the size a little bit just to make it a bit bigger. All right, I could also play around with making it bold or unbold or italicize it. If we wanted to, that kind of might look a bit cool, it's up to you. Um, I could adjust the um, tracking space in between the letters. Okay, you feel free to play around with it. You can also adjust the um, font styles. Okay, but that will do for now. All right, so now let's just preview this in the browser with Command, Shift, and E. And there's our navigation bar there. And you'll notice if we um, hover over it, the hand appears so that they're actually clickable buttons. So if I click on Home, um, it will take me home now the about okay now this is a kind of a glitch I guess in Muse um, notice how the navigation bar isn't showing here okay but if I go back it's showing here however it is on our master page all right now if I go back to Muse and I go back to our other pages all right they're coming up there all right but when I click them in the web browser and preview it they're not coming up okay now the reason for this is because for some reason, like I said, it's a little glitch. I need to preview this Command Shift E on the home page. All right, and then if I click Home, that's good. Now, if I go to the About page, it's not there, but it should be there because it's on the Master page. So what I need to do is again, I need to go back to Muse, and I need to go to the About page, and I need to preview it on the About page. So basically, what's happening is. Um, it's not updating it through the web browser until I preview it on its individual page, if that makes sense. Like if I go to contact now, my navigation bar is going to go, but it's not really gone. It's just because I haven't previewed the contact page properly. Okay, so that's a little glitch which you might run into and you might pull your hair out thinking, why is this not working? This should be working. Okay, but that's, that's why. Okay, all right. The other thing I want to show you about the navigation bar, and look, I'll go through it quickly and you can play around with the styling as much as you want. Um, so you click it once, let's click again and it'll just select this section here. And what we can do is we can play around with the fill and the stroke. So at the moment we've got a grey fill um, to a navigation bar. I'm going to take that off because I actually don't want it. Or you could change the colour to white if you wanted to for example, but I'm actually just going to take it off because I don't really want to fill. I just want it black writing on that white banner that we've got. Uh, so again, click, click in again. Um, now, on websites, you'll notice that when you hover over things, usually something happens to a clickable button to to show that or tell the user that it is clickable. So the color might change or the size might grow or something like that. So in here, in the top left here, you've got menu items. So normal. So at the moment, 
the menu item or the navigation bar in its normal state will look like this. If you click the words normal, all right, and go to roll over, okay. So when I roll over with the user rolls overs with the mouse, it's going to go grey, okay, because at the moment we've got a grey fill in the rollover state, not the normal state, the rollover state, okay, and so I'll just show you how that looks in the browser. So we don't have the fill there, but when I roll over my buttons, I've got grey, okay. Now, it's up to you whether you want that or not, like if it's up to me, I'm going to probably, I could take it off, all right, if you wanted to, or you could have it grey. But you could maybe, I don't know, drop the opacity over here a little bit so the, the effect isn't so strong. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's up to you. Um, okay, so what you could also do in the rollover state is you might even adjust the size of your text so that when you roll over it, the text also gets larger. Okay, to add a bit more, all right? Um, I could take that grey off altogether if I go back in there, go to the rollover state, take the fill out altogether so that it's none of that and it's just, yeah. All right, now my text has changed. No, it hasn't. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, it's again the mouse down state, so that mouse down is when the user actually presses the button. Uh, I might just take that off. Um, and then when the link is active, so when the users actually press the button, that's what it's going to look like. And that kind of looks crappy as well, so I'm just going to take all of those off. Um, so look, it's a little, it can be a little bit fiddly. Now I've got this grey going on when I go on the, the, to my buttons, but that's kind of okay. And then again, it hasn't updated on here because I haven't previewed it on those pages. But look, that's the basics of it. You click once click again and then you can even go in a third time, third and fourth time and you can um, muck around with the with the text. We can even go into transitions and how how the, it transitions through the states by giving it a fade and things like that. But look, it's just up to you to, to muck around with and find something that suits for you, okay? So play around with that and um, yeah, see what you can come up with.